everyone, let's go back in time together and learn something new. Introduction The story of ancient civilizations is a fascinating journey through time, encompassing the rise and fall of mighty empires, the development of advanced technologies, the exploration of new lands, and the flourishing of cultural and intellectual achievements. In this detailed account, we will embark on a comprehensive journey through the timeline of ancient civilizations, from the emergence of the first complex societies to the dawn of the classical world. Let us delve into the rich tapestry of human history and explore the remarkable evolution of ancient civilizations. Chapter 1. Prehistoric Era The prehistoric era encompasses a vast span of time before the advent of written records. It is a period shrouded in mystery, where our understanding of ancient civilizations relies heavily on archaeological evidence and inference. This era witnessed pivotal developments that laid the groundwork for the subsequent rise of complex societies and the dawn of recorded history. In this section, we will explore three significant milestones during this era, the Neolithic Revolution, the development of writing systems, and the onset of the Bronze Age. 10,000 BCE, the Neolithic Revolution marks the transition from hunter-gatherer societies to settled agriculture in various regions across the globe. The Neolithic Revolution represents a fundamental shift in human history, as it marks the transition from nomadic lifestyles dependent on hunting and gathering to settled communities engaged in agriculture. This revolution occurred independently in multiple regions, including the Fertile Crescent, Mesopotamia, the Nile River Valley, Egypt, the Indus Valley, and China. The ability to cultivate crops and domesticate animals transformed human existence in profound ways. With the domestication of plants, including wheat, barley, rice, and maize, early agricultural communities gained a reliable and sustainable food source. This agricultural surplus allowed for the growth of sedentary communities, as people no longer needed to constantly search for food but could settle in one place and cultivate their crops. The establishment of permanent settlements led to the development of complex social structures, the division of labor, and the accumulation of wealth. The Neolithic Revolution also brought about advancements in technology. Humans began using tools made from stone, bone, and wood to clear land for agriculture, construct dwellings, and fashion pottery. The cultivation of crops required the development of rudimentary irrigation systems, which allowed communities to control water resources and improve agricultural productivity. These early innovations laid the foundation for future advancements in technology and set the stage for the rise of ancient civilizations. 4000 BCE, the development of writing systems, such as cuneiform in Mesopotamia and hieroglyphs in Egypt, lays the foundation for recorded history. Around 4000 BCE, in the ancient regions of Mesopotamia and Egypt, two distinct writing systems emerged, marking a significant milestone in human communication. In Mesopotamia, the Sumerians developed cuneiform, one of the earliest known writing systems. Cuneiform consisted of wedge-shaped marks impressed onto clay tablets, which were then baked to preserve the inscriptions. These early texts primarily served administrative and accounting purposes but later expanded to include literature, myths, and historical records. Similarly, in Egypt, the ancient Egyptians developed hieroglyphs, a system of pictorial symbols carved or painted onto surfaces. Hieroglyphs represented objects, ideas, or sounds and were initially used for religious and monumental inscriptions. Over time, hieroglyphs evolved into a more standardized script, known as hieratic and demotic, which facilitated everyday writing and record-keeping. The development of writing systems revolutionized human communication and paved the way for the recording of historical events, religious beliefs, laws, and cultural expressions. It allowed for the transmission of knowledge across generations and facilitated the development of complex societies with centralized governance and administration. 3000 BCE, the Bronze Age begins, leading to advancements in metallurgy and the emergence of early city-states in Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley. The Bronze Age, which began around 3000 BCE, witnessed a significant leap forward in human technological capabilities. It was characterized by the widespread use of bronze, an alloy of copper and tin, for the production of tools, weapons, and ornaments. The mastery of metallurgy opened new horizons for ancient civilizations, as bronze tools and weapons were stronger and more durable than those made of stone or bone. 
the emergence of bronze metallurgy facilitated advancements in agriculture, construction, and warfare. Bronze tools, such as plows and sickles, increased agricultural productivity, leading to surplus food production and population growth. The construction of elaborate irrigation systems, monumental structures, and defensive fortifications became possible, shaping the physical landscape of ancient cities. The Bronze Age also witnessed the rise of early city-states, particularly in Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley. These urban centers, characterized by dense populations, complex social hierarchies, and centralized political authority, became hubs of trade, craftsmanship, and intellectual exchange. Notable examples include Yor, Uruk, and Eridu in Mesopotamia and Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa in the Indus Valley. The cities of the Bronze Age served as centers of economic, political, and cultural power. They facilitated the growth of specialized professions, the development of writing systems, and the emergence of organized religion. The exchange of goods and ideas between these early urban centers laid the foundation for the interconnectedness and cultural exchange that would continue to shape the course of human history. Chapter 2, Mesopotamia and Egypt Mesopotamia and Egypt, two great ancient civilizations, emerged in the fertile valleys of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers and the Nile River, respectively. These civilizations flourished concurrently, contributing immensely to the development of human history through their political, social, economic, and cultural achievements. In this section, we will delve into the rich tapestry of Mesopotamia and Egypt, focusing on three significant milestones, the flourishing city-states of Sumer, the monumental construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza, and the rise of the Akkadian Empire. 3000 BCE, the city-states of Sumer and Mesopotamia flourish, developing complex political and social structures. The city-states of Sumer, located in the southern part of Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq, are widely regarded as one of the earliest known civilizations in human history. The Sumerians developed complex political and social structures that laid the foundation for the subsequent empires and societies in the region. The city-states of Sumer, such as Yor, Uruk, and Nippur, were characterized by their impressive urban planning, monumental architecture, and intricate canal systems for irrigation. The Sumerians developed sophisticated administrative systems to manage their expanding territories, and they were ruled by a priestly class known as Ensis. These priest rulers held both religious and political authority and governed the city-states through a system of laws and centralized bureaucracies. Sumerians made significant contributions to various fields, including writing, mathematics, astronomy, and literature. They developed one of the earliest known writing systems, cuneiform, which consisted of wedge-shaped marks impressed onto clay tablets. Cuneiform was used for record-keeping, administration, literature, and religious texts. Sumerian mathematics laid the groundwork for the development of the sexagesimal system, base 60, and the concept of the circle. 2700 BCE, the construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt showcases the incredible architectural achievements of the ancient Egyptians. Egypt, situated along the Nile River, was home to one of the most enduring and awe-inspiring ancient civilizations. The construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, stands as a testament to the incredible architectural achievements of the ancient Egyptians. During the Old Kingdom period, around 2700 BCE, pharaohs began constructing massive pyramids as tombs for themselves. The Great Pyramid of Giza, built for Pharaoh Khufu, Cheops, is the largest of these structures. It is a masterpiece of engineering, consisting of approximately 2.3 million stone blocks weighing several tons each. The construction of the pyramids required immense organization, labor, and engineering expertise. The ancient Egyptians developed advanced surveying techniques, precise mathematical calculations, and innovative construction methods. They used ramps, pulleys, and levers to transport and lift the massive stone blocks into position. The pyramids served as monumental symbols of the pharaoh's power, as well as sacred sites for religious rituals and beliefs about the afterlife. The Great Pyramid of Giza and other pyramids not only showcase the architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians but also reflect their complex religious beliefs, organizational capabilities, and cultural values. 2359 BCE, the Akkadian Empire, led by Sargon of Akkad, 
becomes the first known empire in history, ruling over much of Mesopotamia. The Akkadian Empire, founded by Sargon of Akkad, marks a significant turning point in the history of Mesopotamia. It is considered the first known empire in human history, covering a vast territory that extended from the Persian Gulf to the Mediterranean Sea. Sargon of Akkad, a military leader and statesman, united several city-states of Mesopotamia under his rule, establishing a centralized government and administration. The empire's capital, Akkad, became a vibrant center of trade, culture, and innovation. Sargon's conquests and administrative reforms laid the foundation for the concept of empire building, which would be emulated by subsequent civilizations. Under the Akkadian Empire, the Semitic Akkadian language became the lingua franca of the region, promoting cultural exchange and administrative efficiency. The empire witnessed significant advancements in trade, arts, and literature. Akkadian scribes wrote epic poems, hymns, and legal texts, providing valuable insights into the social and cultural aspects of the time. Although the Akkadian Empire eventually declined due to internal conflicts and external invasions, its legacy endured. The empire's centralized governance and administrative practices influenced future empires in Mesopotamia, shaping the political landscape of the region for centuries to come. Chapter 3, Ancient Indus Valley Civilization the ancient Indus Valley Civilization, also known as the Harappan Civilization, was one of the world's earliest urban societies. Flourishing between approximately 2600 BCE and 1900 BCE in present-day Pakistan and northwest India, it left behind a rich cultural and architectural legacy that continues to captivate historians and archaeologists to this day. In this section, we will explore the emergence of the Indus Valley Civilization and the enigmatic decline that ultimately led to its disappearance. 2600 BCE, the Indus Valley Civilization emerges in present-day Pakistan and northwest India, known for its well-planned cities and advanced urban infrastructure. The Indus Valley Civilization emerged in a region encompassing the valleys of the Indus and Saraswati rivers. It is renowned for its well-planned cities, advanced urban infrastructure, and sophisticated culture. The civilization is primarily identified by the remains of two major cities, Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro, although it extended to numerous other settlements across the region. One of the remarkable aspects of the Indus Valley civilization was its urban planning. The cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro exhibited a grid-like street layout, with well-organized and perpendicular streets intersecting at right angles. The cities featured sophisticated drainage systems, public baths, and multi-storied brick houses with private bathrooms and flush toilets, the careful planning and advanced infrastructure of these cities suggest a highly organized and centralized authority governing the civilization. The Indus Valley civilization was characterized by extensive trade networks, both within its own region and beyond. Archaeological findings indicate that the civilization had access to a diverse range of resources, including precious metals, semi-precious stones, marine shells, and exotic goods, this indicates a flourishing economy and an extensive network of trade routes that connected the civilization with other ancient cultures. The Indus Valley civilization also displayed remarkable achievements in arts and crafts. Intricately designed seals made of steatite, depicting various animals and possibly serving as markers of ownership, have been found at numerous sites. These seals contain a script that is yet to be fully deciphered, presenting a challenge for historians and linguists seeking to unravel the civilization's written language. 1900 BCE, mysterious decline and eventual disappearance of the Indus Valley civilization, leaving behind enigmatic ruins and unanswered questions. The decline and disappearance of the Indus Valley civilization remained shrouded in mystery. Around 1900 BCE, the civilization began to enter a period of decline, marked by a gradual abandonment of cities and a decline in population. The reasons for this decline are the subject of ongoing speculation and debate among historians and archaeologists. Some theories suggest that environmental factors played a significant role in the civilization's decline. Geological evidence suggests that the course of the Indus River may have shifted, leading to changes in the availability of water resources and subsequent agricultural productivity. This, coupled with the possible impact of climate change, may have contributed to economic instability and population migration. Other theories propose that internal factors, such as social unrest, political instability, or disease outbreaks, 
played a role in the civilization's downfall. Evidence of violence, including burned structures and signs of conflict, has been found at some Indus Valley sites, indicating potential social disruptions or external invasions. The lack of deciphered written records from the Indus Valley civilization poses a significant challenge in understanding the causes of its decline. Without textual evidence, historians must rely on archaeological findings, scientific analyzes, and comparative studies with other ancient civilizations to piece together possible scenarios. Regardless of the precise reasons for its decline, the Indus Valley civilization left behind a rich archaeological legacy. Its enigmatic ruins, including the well-planned cities, intricate seals, and artistic artifacts, bear witness to a highly developed and sophisticated civilization. The mystery surrounding its decline only adds to the fascination and intrigue surrounding this ancient civilization, leaving unanswered questions that continue to fuel scholarly inquiry and exploration. Chapter 4, Ancient China Ancient China, with its rich history spanning several millennia, has witnessed the rise and fall of numerous dynasties and left an indelible mark on world civilization. From the early legendary Xia dynasty to the mighty Qin dynasty, China's ancient past is filled with remarkable achievements in governance, culture, technology, and philosophy. In this section, we will explore two pivotal periods in ancient China's history, the Xia and Shang dynasties, and the unification of China under the Qin dynasty. 2000 BCE, the Xia dynasty marks the beginning of Chinese dynastic rule, followed by the Shang dynasty, which witnesses advancements in writing and bronze technology. The Xia dynasty, though its historical existence remains debated, is traditionally considered the first Chinese dynasty. Ruling around 2000 BCE, the Xia dynasty is shrouded in legend and folklore, with figures like Emperor Yu credited with taming floods and establishing orderly governance. The Xia dynasty laid the foundation for the subsequent dynastic rule in China, setting the stage for the consolidation of power, social hierarchy, and early developments in agriculture and technology. Following the Xia dynasty, the Shang dynasty emerged around 1600 BCE and marked a significant shift in Chinese civilization. The Shang dynasty is renowned for its advancements in writing, bronze technology, and elaborate rituals. The discovery of oracle bones, which were used for divination and recorded questions to deities, provides invaluable insights into the Shang dynasty's governance, social structure, and belief systems. The Shang dynasty witnessed the development of a sophisticated writing system known as Oracle Bone Script. This early form of writing involved the inscribing of characters onto bones or turtle shells, which were then heated, causing them to crack. Priests or diviners would interpret the cracks as messages from the ancestors or deities, providing a glimpse into the religious and political practices of the time. Bronze technology also flourished during the Shang dynasty. Skilled craftsmen produced intricately cast bronze vessels, weapons, and ceremonial objects. These objects not only served utilitarian purposes but also symbolized social status and spiritual significance. The craftsmanship and artistic designs of Shang bronze artifacts demonstrate the civilization's advanced metallurgical techniques and aesthetic sensibilities. 221 BCE, the Qin dynasty unifies China under Emperor Qin Shi Huang, constructing the Great Wall and establishing a centralized imperial system. The Qin dynasty, founded by Emperor Qin Shi Huang, stands as a remarkable period in ancient Chinese history. Qin Shi Huang's reign witnessed the unification of China, the establishment of a centralized imperial system, and transformative projects that shaped the course of Chinese civilization. Emperor Qin Shi Huang centralized power by implementing administrative reforms and standardizing systems of measurement, currency, and writing. He commissioned the construction of an extensive network of roads and canals, which facilitated trade and communication throughout the empire. Perhaps the most iconic project of the Qin dynasty was the construction of the Great Wall of China, which aimed to fortify the northern borders and protect the empire from nomadic invasions. The Qin dynasty also introduced legal and political reforms that played a significant role in shaping China's future governance. The emperor implemented a highly centralized system of government, dividing the empire into administrative districts and appointing officials to oversee various aspects of administration. The legalist philosophy, which emphasized strict adherence to laws and the centralization of power, became the ideological foundation of the Qin dynasty's rule. Furthermore, 
Emperor Qin Shi Huang's rule saw the standardization of the Chinese writing system, unifying various regional scripts into a single script known as Small Seal Script. This standardization of writing contributed to increased literacy and communication throughout the empire. Despite its achievements, the Qin dynasty faced challenges and controversy. The emperor's authoritarian rule and harsh policies, such as the suppression of intellectual dissent and the forced labor on monumental projects, created resentment among the population. After Emperor Qin Shi Huang's death, the dynasty faced rebellions and was eventually overthrown. Chapter 5, Ancient Greece Ancient Greece holds a prominent place in world history and is often celebrated as the cradle of Western civilization. Renowned for its advancements in art, literature, philosophy, politics, and athletics, Greece's ancient past remains a source of inspiration and fascination. In this section, we will explore two significant milestones in ancient Greek history, the flourishing of the Mycenaean civilization and the inaugural Olympic Games that marked the beginning of the classical era and the foundation of Greek city-states. 1200 BCE, the Mycenaean civilization flourishes in mainland Greece, known for its palaces, rich art, and the epic poems of Homer. The Mycenaean civilization, which emerged around 1200 BCE, represents an important period in ancient Greek history. Centered on the mainland of Greece, the Mycenaean culture thrived and achieved remarkable cultural and architectural advancements. The Mycenaeans constructed fortified palaces, such as the iconic Lion Gate of Mycenae, which symbolized their political and military power. These palaces served as administrative centers and were adorned with intricate frescoes depicting scenes from daily life, religious rituals, and military conquests. The Mycenaean civilization is often associated with the Homeric epics, the Iliad and the Odyssey, attributed to the legendary poet Homer. These epic poems provide valuable insights into the society, values, and beliefs of the Mycenaeans. Mycenaean Greece was a complex society with a hierarchical social structure. The ruling class, consisting of warrior elites, held significant power, while the majority of the population were farmers and artisans. The Mycenaeans engaged in extensive trade, exchanging goods such as olive oil, pottery, and textiles with other Mediterranean cultures, demonstrating their economic prosperity and interconnectedness. The decline of the Mycenaean civilization is attributed to various factors, including economic instability, natural disasters, and invasions. The exact reasons for its downfall remain a subject of debate and speculation among historians. Nevertheless, the cultural and artistic legacy of the Mycenaeans had a profound impact on subsequent Greek civilizations. 776 BCE, the first Olympic Games are held in ancient Greece, marking the beginning of the classical era and the foundation of Greek city-states. The first Olympic Games, held in 776 BCE in the Sacred Valley of Olympia, marked a significant turning point in ancient Greek history. These games were part of a religious festival honoring Zeus, the king of the Greek gods, initially consisting of a single event, a foot race known as the Stadion, the Olympic Games gradually expanded to include various athletic contests, such as chariot races, discus throwing, wrestling, and boxing. The Olympic Games became a symbol of Greek unity and pride, bringing together athletes from different city-states across Greece. During the Games, a truce, known as the Olympic Peace, was observed, ensuring safe passage for participants and spectators. The Games fostered cultural exchange and celebrated physical prowess and competitive spirit, reflecting the values and ideals of ancient Greek society. The inaugural Olympic Games marked the beginning of the classical era, a period characterized by the flourishing of Greek city-states, advancements in democracy, philosophy, and art. City-states, such as Athens, Sparta, and Corinth, emerged as centers of political and cultural power. The Greek city-states were characterized by their unique forms of government, including democratic systems in Athens, oligarchies in Sparta, and aristocratic rule in other city-states. The classical era also witnessed remarkable achievements in literature, philosophy, and art. The works of philosophers like Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle laid the foundation for Western philosophy. Dramatic playwrights, including Aeschylus, Sophocles, and Euripides, produced timeless tragedies and comedies. Sculptors, such as Phidias, 
created magnificent statues and reliefs that embodied the idealized human form. Chapter 6, Ancient Rome Ancient Rome stands as one of the most influential and enduring civilizations in human history. From its legendary founding to the establishment of the Roman Republic and the subsequent Roman Empire, Rome's ancient past is marked by remarkable achievements in governance, military conquest, infrastructure, and cultural development. In this section, we will explore three pivotal milestones in ancient Roman history, the legendary founding of Rome, the establishment of the Roman Republic, and the beginning of the Roman Empire under Augustus. 753 BCE, the legendary founding of Rome by Romulus and Remus. According to Roman mythology, Rome was founded in 753 BCE by twin brothers, Romulus and Remus. Raised by a she-wolf and later discovered by a shepherd, the brothers decided to establish a city near the Tiber River. However, a dispute over the city's leadership led to the tragic demise of Remus, leaving Romulus as the sole founder of Rome. The legend of Romulus and Remus reflects the mythical origins of Rome and the city's connection to divine protection. This legendary founding story served as a powerful symbol of Roman identity and resonated throughout Roman history, reinforcing the city's prestigious and storied heritage. 509 BCE, the Roman Republic is established, leading to the expansion of Rome's influence across the Mediterranean. The Roman Republic, established in 509 BCE, marked a significant shift in Roman governance. The monarchy was abolished, and power was vested in two annually elected consuls and an assembly of citizens known as the Senate. This system of checks and balances ensured that no individual or faction could monopolize power, forming the foundation of Rome's republican government. During the Roman Republic, Rome expanded its influence across the Italian peninsula and eventually emerged as the dominant power in the Mediterranean. The Republic engaged in a series of wars, including the Punic Wars against Carthage, resulting in Rome's control over Sicily, North Africa, and Spain. The Republic's military successes, along with its diplomatic and administrative skills, allowed it to forge alliances and establish client states, expanding Roman influence and establishing a network of provinces. The Roman Republic also witnessed significant internal reforms. The Twelve Tables, a code of laws, were codified, ensuring legal protection and rights for Roman citizens. Roman society was divided into distinct classes, with patricians holding political power and plebeians representing the common people. Political and social conflicts arose between these classes, leading to various reforms aimed at addressing grievances and maintaining social stability. 27 BCE, the Roman Empire begins with the reign of Augustus, leading to a period of unprecedented prosperity, architectural marvels, and the Pax Romana, Roman peace. The transition from the Roman Republic to the Roman Empire occurred in 27 BCE, with the rise of Augustus as Rome's first emperor. Under Augustus and subsequent emperors, Rome experienced a period of stability and prosperity known as the Pax Romana. This era witnessed remarkable achievements in architecture, art, literature, and governance. Augustus implemented significant administrative reforms, consolidating power and establishing a centralized imperial system. He initiated extensive building projects throughout the empire, including the construction of aqueducts, roads, and monumental structures such as the Forum of Augustus and the Temple of Caesar. These architectural marvels embodied Rome's grandeur and showcased the wealth and power of the empire. The Pax Romana brought relative peace and stability to the Roman Empire, fostering cultural and intellectual achievements. Roman literature flourished, with poets like Virgil, Ovid, and Horace producing enduring works. Roman law and governance systems were further developed, contributing to the longevity and efficiency of the empire. However, the Roman Empire was not without challenges. Internal conflicts, succession crises, and external threats from barbarian invasions gradually eroded the empire's stability and eventually led to its decline. Nevertheless, the Roman Empire's influence endured, shaping the development of European civilization and leaving a profound impact on art, architecture, language, and governance. Chapter 6, Ancient Persia Ancient Persia, known today as Iran, was the home to one of the most influential empires in world history. The Persian civilization, with its rich cultural, political, and military heritage, 
played a crucial role in shaping the ancient Near East. In this section, we will explore two significant milestones in ancient Persian history, the rise of the Achaemenid Empire under Cyrus the Great and its subsequent conquest by Alexander the Great. 550 BCE, the Achaemenid Empire, under Cyrus the Great, becomes one of the largest empires in history, stretching from Egypt to India. The Achaemenid Empire emerged under the leadership of Cyrus the Great, who successfully united various Persian tribes and conquered neighboring territories. Cyrus's military campaigns and diplomatic skills enabled the formation of an extensive empire that encompassed lands from Egypt in the west to India in the east. Cyrus the Great, renowned for his tolerance and respect for diverse cultures, allowed local customs and religions to flourish within his empire. This policy of religious and cultural tolerance was a departure from the practices of many ancient empires, contributing to the empire's stability and facilitating the assimilation of diverse populations. The Achaemenid Empire was characterized by an efficient administrative system. Satraps, appointed by the emperor, governed provinces and collected taxes, ensuring the empire's control over vast territories. The empire also had a complex road network, known as the Royal Road, which facilitated communication, trade, and the movement of armies. The Achaemenid Empire's enduring legacy is epitomized by its capital, Persepolis. This magnificent city, with its grand palaces and elaborate reliefs, represented the pinnacle of Persian architecture and art. The empire's wealth, derived from its control over important trade routes, allowed for the construction of monumental buildings and the patronage of artists and craftsmen. 330 BCE, Alexander the Great conquers the Persian Empire, spreading Hellenistic culture across the region. The conquest of the Persian Empire by Alexander the Great marked a significant turning point in ancient Persian history. In 330 BCE, Alexander, with his Greek forces, invaded Persia, defeating the Persian army led by Darius III. This conquest led to the fall of the Achaemenid Empire and the spread of Hellenistic culture throughout the region. Although Alexander's rule was short-lived, his conquest left an indelible mark on Persia. He founded several cities, including Alexandria Eskid in modern-day Tajikistan, Alexandria Arachisia in present-day Afghanistan, and Alexandria on the Tigris in Iraq. These cities served as centers of Greek culture, politics, and trade, promoting the diffusion of Greek ideas, language, and art throughout the Persian lands. The encounter between Greek and Persian cultures during this period gave rise to a fusion known as Hellenistic culture. This cultural exchange resulted in a blending of Greek and Persian artistic styles, religious practices, and intellectual traditions. Greek philosophy and literature found new expressions in Persia, while Persian influences enriched the evolving Hellenistic world. The impact of Alexander's conquests on Persia was profound. The Hellenistic Seleucid Empire, which emerged from the disintegration of Alexander's empire, ruled over Persian territories for several centuries. The Seleucid Empire, though deeply influenced by Greek culture, also adopted and assimilated Persian administrative practices, contributing to the enduring influence of Persian governance and traditions in the region. Chapter 7, Conclusion The evolution of ancient civilizations is a captivating journey that reveals the remarkable ingenuity and adaptability of humanity throughout history. From the humble beginnings of agricultural settlements to the rise and fall of mighty empires, each civilization has played a significant role in shaping the course of human development. By examining the timeline of ancient civilizations, we gain a profound appreciation for the interconnectedness of cultures and the enduring legacy of our ancestors. The ancient civilizations we have explored, such as the Neolithic societies, Mesopotamia, Egypt, the Indus Valley, Greece, Persia, and Rome, exemplify the diversity of human experiences and the various paths civilizations can take. Each civilization, with its unique geographical, cultural, and historical context, contributed to the development of different aspects of human knowledge and achievement. The Neolithic Revolution marked a pivotal moment in human history, transforming nomadic hunter-gatherer societies into settled agricultural communities. This transition laid the foundation for the subsequent development of complex societies, as people learned to cultivate crops and domesticate animals, leading to surplus food production, population growth, and the specialization of labor. Mesopotamia and Egypt showcased impressive advancements in governance, architecture, writing systems, 
and cultural achievements. The city-states of Sumer and the monumental construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza exemplify the political and architectural prowess of these civilizations. The rise of the Akkadian Empire and the unification of Egypt under powerful pharaohs highlight the ambition and administrative capabilities of ancient rulers. The Indus Valley Civilization, with its well-planned cities, advanced urban infrastructure, and unique writing system, stands as a testament to the ingenuity of early urban societies. While its mysterious decline leaves unanswered questions, its legacy endures through its artifacts and ruins. Ancient Greece, birthplace of democracy, philosophy, literature, and the Olympic Games, left an indelible mark on Western civilization. The achievements of the Mycenaean civilization, the establishment of the Roman Republic, and the subsequent Roman Empire highlight the development of complex political systems, military prowess, and cultural contributions. The story of ancient Persia reveals the rise and fall of one of the most influential empires in history. From the Achaemenid Empire's vast territorial expanse to the subsequent conquest by Alexander the Great, Persian civilization left a profound impact on the region, influencing cultural and administrative practices. By studying the timeline of ancient civilizations, we gain invaluable insights into the foundations of our modern world. We recognize the shared human aspirations for progress, cultural exchange, and the pursuit of knowledge. The interconnectedness of diverse cultures becomes evident as we witness the diffusion of ideas, technologies, and artistic expressions across ancient civilizations. Moreover, the enduring legacies of these civilizations remind us of the continuity of human history. Our present is rooted in the achievements, innovations, and cultural contributions of our ancient predecessors. As inheritors of this rich tapestry of human experience, we are inspired to learn from the successes and failures of the past, to appreciate the diversity of human achievements, and to continue striving for progress and understanding in our own time. More information and facts. Part 1, Trade and Commerce in Ancient Civilizations. Trade and commerce played a pivotal role in the development and interconnectedness of ancient civilizations. The establishment of trade networks facilitated the exchange of goods, ideas, and technologies, fostering cultural exchange and economic growth. Exploring prominent trade routes, such as the Silk Road and Mediterranean trade, provides valuable insights into the dynamics of ancient commerce and its impact on the development of civilizations. Trade networks emerged early in human history as societies recognized the advantages of exchanging surplus goods. Initially, trade was primarily conducted through local and regional networks. However, as civilizations grew and developed, trade expanded to encompass longer distances and more extensive networks. One of the most famous and influential trade routes in ancient times was the Silk Road. This vast network of overland and maritime routes connected China, Central Asia, the Indian subcontinent, the Middle East, and eventually reached as far as the Roman Empire. The Silk Road facilitated the exchange of goods such as silk, spices, precious metals, gems, textiles, and luxury items, along with the material goods, ideas, religions, philosophies, and technologies also traveled along this route, enriching the cultural and intellectual landscape of the regions it spanned. The Mediterranean region also emerged as a significant hub of trade and commerce. The Mediterranean Sea served as a maritime highway connecting diverse civilizations such as ancient Greece, Egypt, Phoenicia, Rome, Carthage, and various city-states. The Mediterranean trade encompassed a wide range of goods, including agricultural products, metals, pottery, glassware, and textiles. This trade network not only fueled economic growth but also facilitated the exchange of cultural practices, artistic styles, and architectural influences among the participating civilizations. Trade routes were not confined to land and sea, river trade routes also played a vital role in connecting civilizations. For example, the Nile River served as a lifeline for ancient Egypt, allowing for the transportation of goods and facilitating trade with neighboring regions. The Tigris and Euphrates rivers played a similar role in connecting Mesopotamian civilizations and fostering trade with regions as distant as the Indus Valley. The development of trade networks had significant economic and social implications for ancient civilizations. Trade brought wealth and prosperity, allowing for the accumulation of resources, the growth of urban centers, 
and the emergence of a merchant class. It fostered specialization, as different regions focused on producing goods for which they had a comparative advantage. This specialization led to the development of economic interdependencies, creating networks of mutual reliance and cooperation among civilizations. Trade and commerce also played a vital role in cultural exchange and the diffusion of ideas and technologies. As goods traveled along trade routes, they carried with them the cultural practices, artistic styles, religious beliefs, and technological innovations of their places of origin. This cross-pollination of ideas led to the spread of philosophies, religions, writing systems, scientific knowledge, agricultural techniques, and architectural styles. The exchange of goods and ideas through trade networks not only enriched individual civilizations but also contributed to the overall progress of human civilization. The transmission of knowledge and technologies enabled civilizations to learn from one another, adapt and improve upon existing practices, and foster innovation. For example, the adoption of new crops and agricultural techniques from other regions enhanced agricultural productivity, leading to population growth and economic prosperity. Trade networks were not without challenges. Ancient civilizations had to navigate physical obstacles, such as challenging terrain, harsh climates, and the hazards of long-distance travel. Additionally, political stability, the establishment of legal frameworks, and the protection of trade routes were crucial for ensuring the safety and smooth functioning of trade. Part 2 – Scientific and Technological Advancements in Ancient Civilizations the scientific and technological achievements of ancient civilizations reflect their innovative spirit, intellectual curiosity, and the human desire to understand and manipulate the world around them. These advancements played a crucial role in the development of various fields, including architecture, engineering, medicine, agriculture, and more. Exploring the scientific and technological achievements of ancient civilizations provides valuable insights into their intellectual capabilities and the foundations of modern knowledge. The Babylonians, one of the earliest known civilizations, made significant contributions to mathematics. They developed a sophisticated system of mathematics based on the sexagesimal numeral system, which utilized a base 60 system. This numerical system allowed for precise calculations, and the Babylonians developed methods for solving equations, calculating areas, and even understanding the principles of trigonometry. Their mathematical achievements laid the foundation for subsequent mathematical developments in ancient Greece and other civilizations. The ancient Egyptians also made remarkable strides in various scientific and technological fields. They were skilled architects and engineers, constructing massive structures such as the pyramids, which demonstrate their advanced knowledge of mathematics and engineering principles. The Egyptians developed techniques for quarrying and moving enormous stones, creating precise and durable structures that have stood the test of time. The ancient Greeks, known for their pursuit of knowledge and philosophy, made significant contributions to various scientific disciplines. In the field of mathematics, Greek mathematicians such as Euclid developed a comprehensive system of geometry, known as Euclidean geometry, which laid the foundation for the study of shapes, angles, and proportions. Additionally, Greek astronomers like Hipparchus made important discoveries in the field of astronomy, including the development of the first known trigonometric table and the measurement of the Earth's circumference. Ancient China, with its rich scientific and technological heritage, made groundbreaking advancements in multiple fields. Chinese engineers developed sophisticated hydraulic systems, including canals, irrigation networks, and water clocks. The invention of paper and printing techniques revolutionized the dissemination of knowledge and the preservation of written records. Chinese astronomers observed celestial phenomena and developed precise calendars based on their astronomical observations. Chinese physicians developed extensive knowledge of herbal medicine, acupuncture, and the diagnosis and treatment of various ailments. In the Americas, the Mayans demonstrated impressive astronomical knowledge. They carefully observed celestial bodies and developed a highly accurate calendar system. Their understanding of celestial cycles allowed them to predict celestial events, such as eclipses, and establish calendars that played a crucial role in their agricultural practices and religious rituals. Mayan architects and engineers also constructed impressive cities and buildings, demonstrating advanced knowledge of mathematics and engineering principles. The scientific and technological advancements of ancient civilizations were not limited to mathematics and engineering. 
medical knowledge and practices were also significant areas of development. Ancient civilizations, such as the Egyptians, Greeks, and Chinese, made advancements in medical understanding, herbal remedies, surgery, and the treatment of diseases. Advancements in agriculture were critical for sustaining growing populations. Ancient civilizations developed techniques for irrigation, crop rotation, and the domestication of plants and animals, leading to increased agricultural productivity and food security. It is important to note that while these civilizations made significant contributions, scientific and technological advancements were often localized and not universally spread. The dissemination of knowledge varied across different regions and time periods. Part 3 – Social Hierarchies and Class Structures in Ancient Civilizations Investigating the social hierarchies and class structures within ancient civilizations offers valuable insights into the power dynamics, social mobility, and the roles of different groups within society. By understanding the position of elites, nobility, commoners, and slaves, we can gain a deeper understanding of the socio-political structures and cultural norms that shaped these civilizations. In most ancient civilizations, social hierarchies were firmly entrenched, with individuals and groups occupying distinct positions in society. At the top of the social ladder were the elites and nobility, who held significant wealth, political power, and privilege. They typically consisted of the ruling class, including kings, queens, emperors, pharaohs, or aristocrats. The elites often claimed divine descent or a special connection to the gods, legitimizing their authority and maintaining social order. The elites enjoyed privileges and luxuries that were not accessible to the commoners. They lived in lavish palaces or mansions, wore extravagant clothing and jewelry, and had access to the best education and healthcare. They often controlled the administration and decision-making processes of the civilization, ensuring that their interests were protected and maintained. Beneath the elites and nobility were the commoners, who constituted the majority of the population. Commoners comprised various occupational groups, such as farmers, artisans, merchants, and laborers. They were responsible for sustaining the economy through agricultural production, craftsmanship, and trade. While they lacked the political power and privileges of the elites, they played a vital role in the overall functioning of society. The position of commoners within social hierarchies varied among civilizations. In some societies, commoners had limited rights and were subject to the rule and control of the elites. In others, commoners enjoyed more freedoms and had opportunities for social mobility through hard work, wealth accumulation, or military service. Slavery was another significant aspect of social hierarchies in ancient civilizations. Slaves were individuals who were considered property and were owned by others. Slavery existed in various forms and was widespread in many ancient civilizations, such as Mesopotamia, Egypt, Greece, and Rome. Slaves performed a range of tasks, including domestic work, agricultural labor, and skilled craftsmanship. They were often captured through warfare, born into slavery, or faced enslavement as a form of punishment or debt repayment. The lives of slaves varied depending on the specific civilization and the treatment they received from their owners. Some slaves had limited rights and faced harsh conditions, while others enjoyed more favorable treatment and even had opportunities for social advancement. In certain cases, slaves could earn their freedom through service, purchase their freedom, or be granted freedom by their owners. Social hierarchies and class structures were reinforced by cultural norms and religious beliefs. Ancient civilizations often justified social inequalities through religious or divine mandates, asserting that certain individuals or groups were inherently superior or deserving of higher status. These beliefs were perpetuated through religious ceremonies, art, literature, and cultural practices. However, it is important to note that social hierarchies were not static and could be subject to change over time. Social mobility was possible, though the avenues for upward mobility varied among civilizations. In some cases, individuals could rise through the ranks through military achievements, political connections, or exceptional talent. Others could improve their social status through marriage, education, or economic success. Part 4 – Gender Roles and Women's Status in Ancient Civilizations 
Examining the roles and status of women within ancient civilizations provides valuable insights into the position of women in society, their participation in various domains such as economic activities, political influence, and cultural contributions. Exploring the variations in gender roles among different civilizations adds depth to our understanding of ancient societies and their treatment of women. It is essential to recognize that gender roles and women's status varied significantly across ancient civilizations. While some societies practiced strict patriarchal systems that limited women's rights and opportunities, others allowed for more diverse roles and greater participation of women in public life. In many ancient civilizations, including Mesopotamia, Egypt, Greece, Rome, and China, the prevailing societal structure was patriarchal. Men held primary positions of power and authority, occupying political offices, owning property, and controlling economic resources. Women, on the other hand, were often relegated to domestic spheres and had limited access to political power or public roles. In Mesopotamia, women generally had lower social status compared to men. However, some women managed to achieve notable positions and influence. The Mesopotamian civilization recognized certain priestesses who held significant religious authority and played vital roles in religious rituals and temple administration. In ancient Egypt, women had more opportunities for participation in public life compared to many other ancient civilizations. They could own property, engage in economic activities, and inherit wealth. Some women, such as the famous female pharaoh Hatshepsut, even held positions of political power. The Egyptians held a strong belief in the importance of women in family and society, which was reflected in their legal rights and cultural representations. The roles and status of women in ancient Greece varied considerably across city-states and time periods. Women were generally confined to the private sphere, responsible for managing the household and raising children. However, there were exceptions, particularly in Sparta, where women enjoyed more freedom, participated in physical training, and had more influence in public life. In Athens, women had limited rights and were excluded from political participation and formal education. In the Roman Empire, women had restricted legal and political rights. However, some women from noble families held influential positions within their households and exercised indirect political influence through their husbands or sons. Women from lower social classes often engaged in economic activities and played crucial roles in family businesses. Ancient China also had a patriarchal societal structure, where men held positions of authority and power. However, women's status varied depending on factors such as social class and time period. Some women from noble families achieved remarkable positions and influence, as seen in the examples of Empress Wu Zetian and other powerful empresses. Women from lower social classes often participated in agricultural work, and some gained recognition for their skills in silk production, weaving, or other crafts. It is important to note that while patriarchal systems prevailed in many ancient civilizations, there were also examples of women who defied societal norms and achieved prominence. Some women became renowned poets, scholars, or artists, leaving behind cultural contributions that continue to be celebrated. Exploring gender roles in ancient civilizations allows us to challenge generalizations and recognize the diversity of experiences and opportunities that women had within their respective societies. It highlights the complexities of ancient societies and the ways in which cultural, religious, and socioeconomic factors intersected to shape gender dynamics. Part 5. Cultural and Artistic Achievements in Ancient Civilizations Delving into the cultural and artistic achievements of ancient civilizations offers a window into their aesthetic sensibilities, values, and beliefs. Examining their literature, visual arts, music, and theater allows us to appreciate the richness and diversity of human creative expression throughout history. From the works of great thinkers and philosophers to the masterpieces of poets, playwrights, and artists, these cultural and artistic achievements provide invaluable insights into the intellectual and artistic legacy of ancient civilizations. Literature Literature played a vital role in ancient civilizations, serving as a means of preserving and transmitting cultural knowledge, religious beliefs, historical accounts, and philosophical ideas. Ancient literary works encompassed a wide range of genres, including epic poems, myths, philosophical treatises, historical chronicles, and dramatic plays. 
In ancient Mesopotamia, the epic poem Gilgamesh, one of the earliest surviving works of literature, tells the story of a hero's quest for immortality and explores themes of friendship, mortality, and the human condition. This epic provides valuable insights into the worldview, values, and beliefs of the Mesopotamian civilization. Ancient Greece produced an abundance of literary masterpieces that have had a profound and lasting impact on Western civilization. The works of Homer, including the Iliad and the Odyssey, are epic poems that not only offer captivating narratives but also explore fundamental questions about honor, heroism, fate, and the nature of humanity. Greek tragedy, with playwrights such as Sophocles and Euripides, delved into complex moral dilemmas and examined the relationship between humans and the divine. In ancient India, the Sanskrit epic Mahabharata, attributed to the sage Vyasa, provides a vast tapestry of stories, legends, and philosophical teachings. It explores concepts of duty, righteousness, and the nature of existence. The Bhagavad Gita, a section of the Mahabharata, is a philosophical dialogue that delves into moral dilemmas, ethics, and the paths to spiritual enlightenment. Visual Arts Visual arts flourished in ancient civilizations, offering a visual representation of their cultural, religious, and societal values. These artistic expressions included architecture, sculpture, painting, ceramics, and decorative arts. The ancient Egyptians left a legacy of monumental architecture, with the awe-inspiring pyramids, temples, and tombs that still stand today. The exquisite detail and symbolism in their reliefs and sculptures reveal their religious beliefs, mythological narratives, and the pharaoh's divine status. Greek art celebrated the human form and emphasized balance, harmony, and ideal proportions. Greek sculptures, such as the iconic discus thrower, Discobolus, and the Venus de Milo, captured the beauty and grace of the human body. The Parthenon, a masterpiece of Greek architecture, exemplified the precision and aesthetic principles of the time. Ancient China produced remarkable works of art, including intricate bronze vessels, delicate porcelain, and magnificent landscapes in ink painting. Chinese art often reflected Taoist and Confucian philosophies, capturing the harmony between humans and nature, as well as the ideal qualities of moral conduct. Music and Theater Music and theater played essential roles in ancient civilizations, providing entertainment, religious rituals, and cultural expressions. These art forms not only entertained audiences but also conveyed messages, values, and emotions. In ancient Greece, music and theater were integral parts of religious festivals and civic life. Greek theater, with its tragedies and comedies, explored the human condition and provided a platform for examining moral dilemmas, societal issues, and the complexities of human nature. Prominent playwrights, such as Aeschylus, Sophocles, and Aristophanes, left a lasting legacy with their powerful dramas and satirical comedies. In ancient India, classical Indian music, with its intricate melodies and rhythms, played an integral role in religious rituals and cultural ceremonies. The Natya Shastra, a treatise on performing arts, provided guidelines for dance, music, and theater, highlighting their spiritual and aesthetic dimensions. Cultural Contributions Ancient civilizations made significant contributions to various aspects of human culture, including language, philosophy, religious beliefs, and scientific knowledge. These contributions continue to shape the modern world and influence contemporary thinking. The ancient Egyptians, for example, developed a complex system of hieroglyphic writing, which became the foundation for later forms of writing and communication. The philosophical traditions of ancient Greece, with thinkers like Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, laid the groundwork for Western philosophy, ethics, and political thought. The religious and philosophical ideas of ancient India, including Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism, have influenced spiritual and philosophical traditions throughout Asia. Part 6, Religious and Mythological Beliefs in Ancient Civilizations Understanding the religious and mythological beliefs of ancient civilizations is crucial for comprehending their worldview, moral values, and rituals. Exploring the pantheons, creation myths, and religious practices of civilizations such as ancient Egypt, Mesopotamia, Greece, 
where the Mayans provides a deeper understanding of their spiritual and philosophical foundations. These beliefs shaped every aspect of life in ancient civilizations, influencing social structures, governance, art, and even individual behavior. Ancient Egypt Religion played a central role in ancient Egyptian society. The Egyptians believed in a complex pantheon of gods and goddesses, each with their own specific attributes, responsibilities, and cults. The pharaoh, as the earthly embodiment of the gods, held a pivotal role in religious rituals and was considered the mediator between the divine and human realms. The Egyptians had elaborate beliefs about the afterlife, which influenced their funerary practices. They believed in the concept of Maat, the cosmic order, and the judgment of the soul in the Hall of Ma, where the heart of the deceased was weighed against the feather of truth. This belief system emphasized the importance of moral conduct and ethical behavior in both earthly life and the afterlife. Mesopotamia In Mesopotamia, the belief systems were polytheistic and centered around the worship of various gods and goddesses who controlled different aspects of life. Mesopotamian religions, such as Sumerian, Babylonian, and Assyrian, featured intricate myths and epic narratives that explained the origins of the world, the creation of humans, and the relationships between gods and humans. The Mesopotamians built elaborate ziggurats, temple complexes dedicated to their deities, and conducted religious rituals to appease the gods and ensure prosperity and protection. The king, as the representative of the gods, played a significant role in these rituals and was responsible for maintaining cosmic order. Greece Ancient Greek religion was characterized by a polytheistic belief system, with a pantheon of gods and goddesses who governed various aspects of life and nature. Greek mythology, with its rich narratives and epic tales, provided a framework for understanding the world and human experiences. The Greek gods were anthropomorphic, possessing human qualities and exhibiting a wide range of personalities and emotions. The Greeks believed in the concept of the Olympian gods, led by Zeus, who resided on Mount Olympus. They worshipped these gods through rituals, sacrifices, and festivals held in their honor. Greek religion also included the belief in heroes, demigods, and mythical creatures, adding further layers to their mythological narratives. Mayan Civilization The religious beliefs of the ancient Mayans were complex and deeply intertwined with their cosmology and understanding of the natural world. Mayan religion encompassed a pantheon of gods and goddesses who presided over various aspects of life, including agriculture, fertility, rain, and war. They believed in the cyclical nature of time and the existence of multiple worlds. Mayan religious practices included bloodletting rituals, animal and human sacrifices, and divination. The Mayans built magnificent temple complexes, such as those at Tikal and Chichen Itza, where religious ceremonies and rituals were performed. The significance of understanding ancient religious and mythological beliefs extends beyond a mere appreciation of their narratives. These beliefs shape the moral values, social structures, and cultural practices of ancient civilizations. They influence the art, architecture, literature, and even political systems of these societies. Religion provided a sense of identity, moral guidance, and explanations for the mysteries of the natural world. Furthermore, religious beliefs were intricately connected to philosophical and ethical questions, addressing concepts of good and evil, the nature of the divine, and the purpose of human existence. By exploring these religious and mythological beliefs, we gain a deeper understanding of the spiritual and philosophical foundations that guided ancient civilizations. Part 7 – Environmental Impact and Sustainability in Ancient Civilizations Considering the environmental impact and sustainability practices of ancient civilizations provides valuable insights into their relationship with the natural world. Examining their agricultural practices, water management systems, and efforts to mitigate the impact of urbanization enhances our understanding of their interaction with the environment and the challenges they faced. This exploration reveals both the successes and the limitations of ancient civilizations in maintaining a sustainable balance with their surroundings. Agricultural Practices Agriculture was a fundamental aspect of ancient civilizations, supporting their growing populations and providing economic stability. However, 
the agricultural practices employed by ancient societies had varying degrees of environmental impact and sustainability. In Mesopotamia, for example, the fertile soil of the region allowed for abundant agriculture, but the reliance on irrigation led to long-term consequences. The Sumerians and Babylonians constructed complex irrigation systems to channel water from rivers into agricultural fields, enabling year-round cultivation. However, over time, improper water management and salinization resulted in soil degradation, reducing agricultural productivity and contributing to the decline of these civilizations. In contrast, ancient civilizations like the Inca Empire and the Andes Mountains implemented innovative agricultural techniques to adapt to challenging environmental conditions. They built terraces and used a system called waru waru that involved raised beds and canals to manage water flow and prevent erosion. These practices increased arable land, conserved water, and minimized soil degradation. Water Management Water management was of critical importance to ancient civilizations, as reliable access to water was vital for agriculture, human consumption, and sanitation. Examining the water management systems reveals the ingenuity and engineering prowess of these civilizations. In ancient Egypt, the Nile River played a central role in the civilization's prosperity. The Egyptians developed intricate irrigation systems to harness the river's waters for agriculture. They constructed canals, reservoirs, and dikes to control the water flow and distribute it to fields during both flood and drought seasons. The success of their water management systems contributed to the agricultural abundance that sustained their society. Similarly, the ancient Khmer civilization in Southeast Asia, known for the construction of Angkor Wat, developed an elaborate water management system. They built extensive reservoirs, canals, and water catchment areas to manage seasonal monsoon rains and ensure year-round water availability for agriculture and urban centers. These systems exemplify the careful planning and engineering skills of the Khmer civilization. Efforts to mitigate urbanization impact As ancient civilizations grew and urbanized, they faced challenges related to the impact of urbanization on the environment. Examining their efforts to mitigate these impacts sheds light on their understanding of the need for sustainability. The ancient Romans, for instance, demonstrated an awareness of the environmental consequences of urban development. They constructed sophisticated aqueducts to supply clean water to their cities, improving sanitation and public health. They also implemented drainage systems to manage wastewater and minimize pollution. In ancient China, the city of Chengdu, built during the Han Dynasty, showcased an early example of urban planning with environmental considerations. The city incorporated a network of canals, irrigation systems, and green spaces that promoted water management, flood control, and agricultural productivity. Despite these efforts, it is essential to note that not all ancient civilizations were successful in achieving sustainable practices. The growth of urban centers often resulted in deforestation, soil erosion, and increased demand for resources, leading to environmental degradation. Thanks for watching to the end. See you in new videos.